It looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. N no, but I'm gonna be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. They just hiding? Jeez. Oh no, time of death. Okay, so battle race, I can examine the trunk, but no. Maybe I do need to examine the trunk now. Oh no, I need to swing with this? Okay, I see. I see, there's something I can grab on with this, isn't there? Okay. Easy enough, easy enough. We'll go after fate change, I suppose. I forgot I could swing the light. That you can. Now Megan just seems bored and uninterested. No. Okay, we'll just like speed through this. Just get spell really quicker. Okay, so I'm assuming it's when that chain breaks. I can probably go onto that chain, if I had to guess. Unless there's something else I can swing to, there might be. So I'm in the chicky bone now. What do I do from the chicky bone? Ah! I know what do I do from the chicky bone? <laughs> okay, this needs to be absolutely perfect. Oh, I go into him and I go back in time for more minutes. Man, that's a lot of going back in time. That's like eight minutes for going back. <laughs> Ellipses. Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Pushy as ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and you were like that too. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? Well, what? Even further? But how? Simple. We go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know how it'll go. But if we can't erase the driver's death, that should erase your death too. Q Inception Foghorn. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way. Let's try it. All right. What the? That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at point X? Could it be just a coincidence? And we got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case is extremely important witness, currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? Man, look at the inner workings of that van. They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency. But I think I'd better call this in. Poor Lynn. I wonder what she did this time. Inspector Cabanella is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. Hmm. What's the matter? Alright, fine.
This is point X. Idiot. Yes, sir. I'll go get her. So what causes him to crash? Hmm. Yes, headphones on. The static is awful. I can't believe I forgot... Wait, is this... Wait. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. Who's talking? Does anyone have green text? Is that supposed to be me? I mean, we saw this conversation before. Did we? I don't remember this. Oh, yes, I do. I do, I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah, this is the bug. This is the ladybug. So this is probably you, then? Uh, with such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurt, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Oopsies. I can't hear very well. No, no, that's what happened to him. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Wow, the van driver was a detective. It looks like it. I noticed something, though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash. I remember hearing it before. You're right, we just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. She burned up the ladybug. Hmm. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. Hmm. Interesting. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo. Now let's stop it from happening. Re indeed. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. This is interesting. This is really interesting. So how do we stop this thing? Hey, this place. This is the place that white suited inspector phoned tonight. This parking lot is on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then one day, I swore I'd never set foot in this park again. Whoa, those are some really deep, dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Also, you forgot the word even. Shh. Or something. <laughs> Ever. Hold it! Ever, yeah. Why, Vicky, you didn't just say it? I'm shocked. Or hold! I'm kidding. Hold. I'm kidding, Vicky, you're great. <laughs> Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have a foot to set bit. It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get this started. You added the word to this. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't forget anything there. No, you didn't forget, but you added the word this. You said, let's get this started instead of let's get started. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm just playing a part. I'm here and I see the word nitpicker. I'm like, you know what? I'll nitpick a little bit. Might be kind of fun. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do that. I won't press her about that other thing right now. So, let's see. So, this is at the park. So I can turn on the flashing light or recline the seat. Hmm. What the? Hmm. That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? And we just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case is extremely important witness currently extremely on the run. Now what? 
Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? Wow, they put an EPB on me. You forgot the word out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they're calling you a fugitive. I was literally like trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. I was gonna say put out an EPB and I'm like, no, there's no out there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you read it and you're like, I'll say the word out. But no, the word out isn't <laughs> isn't there. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that your is that out does that count as your groan sound? Yeah, I think so. You naughty girl you Sniffle. Oh boy, I got some eye now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. A girl's heart is a very delicate thing, you know? This from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. It did kill me. Also, yeah, set pieces upon set pieces, I tell you. Indeed, there are a lot of set pieces in this. It's pretty great. I know time is passing game. Hold on. Where do I do this? Ah, there's a new thing for me. Binoculars! I wasn't clicking on it. By clicking, I mean pressing with my, uh, pen. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, there's really... Well, I can't go on him. If I turn this on again, what happens? Being Does obnoxious. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit. You know me, Megan. Sometimes I can be a bit obnoxious. It doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Might as well turn it off. It's pretty loud. Hmm. Okay, well. What if I reclaim the seat here? Aha! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn, I think we missed our chance. I mean, did we? I'm trying to think. Oh, wait. No, maybe. Maybe I did miss my chance, indeed. Because I feel like I'm probably supposed to get the binoculars on the seat before he gets the call. Maybe. Hmm. Let's try this from the beginning. I have, I have an idea and I want to I wanna test this out. Let's go through this real quick. <laughs> All right. So first things first. We need these binocs. Oh, wait, there's a thing here. That's when he's saying the thing. They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency. But I think I'd better call this in. Poor Lynn. I wonder what she did this time. Uh, what does he mean this time? Mind your own business. I like to do things my way, okay? Excuse me. Inspector Cabanello is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. Okay, 
Anyways, let's do this then. I'm gonna take a guess that I do need him to pick up the binoculars. Oh, I don't know why he would. Ba-ding. What are these doing here? Okay, then he just carries it. This is something like I would do, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, what's this? And ah, uh, well, fucking phone's ringing. Let's go pick it up, I guess. What's the matter? What's this? Why is that thingy there? Detective Ringe. This is Memory. Memory, huh? That's quite the name. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. She's a detective, too. Is everybody a detective? I guess. I'm gonna put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanella will be furious. But they're doing all kind of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later, then. Hold on. Did you see a customer coming just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh, yeah. That restless, suspicious chick? Sure. Suspicious? I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a <laughs> row. That is pretty sus. And then she spilled the second glass on the table. Wait a minute. Red hair? Red boots? Red sus? Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, too, if you would. You got it. Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent. And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious, too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Anyway, did you hear what I heard about the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So, should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. So, legitimately... Well, I could go... Okay, so here... Mm. So there's two ways I can think about going with this. I can either stay here and try to make it so he doesn't listen in. Somehow. Or I can go there and deal with the bug. I feel like going there and dealing with the bug myself is probably the way to go about it. I mean, it sounds like a plan, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, I, I was waiting for something, Megan. That basically means I should probably go there. Although now you're probably going to use this to try and make me do something dumb. Because you know <laughs> I'll believe you. Hmm. We're going to go mean, there. Just try not to backseat game. Nah, honestly, Megan, you, you do fine. You do fine. Don't you worry about it. I admit, sometimes you go, why, why would you do X? Or, you know, you should probably do X. You know, sometimes you do it a lot. If it's in moderation, it's not too bad. You're kind of the special hey. exception, of course, mind you. Hey, look where we are. You didn't even read that right. Did you? I don't know if you did. I did? Don't. You probably did. I don't know. You probably did. You probably did. It's okay, I promise. I'll look. I'll, I'll watch this back later and we'll find out then. I kind of like the meme of you not reading things properly in this. It amuses me. The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Now it's gonna be self-conscious. Yep. Or as most people say, the kitchen. So you can tell because she's covering her mouth a little bit now. Mm -hmm. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. <laughs> you, s you know what they say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. <laughs> hmm. Now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Fate changed. I right, cool. Scrunch and stretch.
Okay, that was interesting. So let's pod. I can rock the kettle. I can be in the chef's hat. Hmm. Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now that I think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we are witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Hey, I just had a good idea. You can't die again, Lynn. About what do you do about what to do about the ladybug? No, I was just thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. Practice now. It is indeed smoky in here. Wait a minute. I can't seem to raise the switch. It won't budge. But if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. I think I know what I need to do. I need to make the smoky. Yeah, that's right. I'm causing trouble. I don't think I need to do something with the chef's hat. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I didn't have to do anything. Dude, it's a pedal. What will this pedal do? Oh my god. What the fuck? He. Okay, well, that was... What? Hey, what's up with this lazy Susan? It's acting up today. Maybe it's out of sorts because I was spinning around on it yesterday. Dude, I, would, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. Interesting thing to do for a lady her age. Maybe it's out of sorts? How about thinking it may be broken? Or might be broken. Wait a minute, this is the UK. This is just Nando's. I've heard of Nando's. But it really isn't broken. It broken? It, but it really isn't broken. It's just us ghosts. Do I just need to keep fucking with her? I mean, she is distracted. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I see, I see. He has himself a new chicky dude. Okay, well, that's a little too late. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I see, I see. That's so weird for that chef to do, though. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. He's kind of an eccentric guy, though. A little bit. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I thought I'd give it a little spin. Oh, I get it. You're gonna make her take the one that doesn't have the ladybug on it. I am indeed, game. I'm glad you, you knew what I was going for. Right. And then that suspicious woman won't burn it up. Good thinking, but wait a minute. I don't know if that'll work. Huh? After all, even a girl like her is still bound to notice. I mean, ladder suddenly spinning around right before her eyes? Swiss Shelly, maybe perhaps Swiss Shelly. Hmm. Yeah, that's the rub. If only we could distract her for a minute. Working on it. Just wait. Just wait. It's getting smoky. It's getting smoky. It's getting smoky. Yeah! There we go.
There, all set. Nice, nice. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. Chicken, thou art so beautiful, chicken. Oh, nice. He gets to hear the singing. I took a bite. My heart swelled with pride. And I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you. That sounds kind of lewd, honestly. Also, I just want to point out he said the same thing about uh, the other two's conversation. You're right, he did. <laughs> well... It looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I... I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do that. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Yeah, this definitely isn't America. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway, no offense to any Americans, just saying. You were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. Mario says, and so my phone is okay now. Wouldn't let me send anything? Aw, oh, man, I hate when phones do that. Phones can be weird sometimes, man. I'm glad you got it working, though. Yeah, that's good. But let's go back to the new present first. No, you're talking to me about this here right now. I ain't letting you, like, get away from- Okay, fine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Maybe you're not, people. <laughs> no, honestly, legit, I probably would have said the same thing. I would just been like, yeah, okay, sure, why not? Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Trick time. I see you're keeping yourself amused. A little bit. Nah, yeah, it was the squish. Uh, so this is the kitchen of the chicken kitchen. But before we go back and see what Lynn's up to, I'm just curious. As I'm curious, right? Game told me not to, but I'm doing it for a moment. I figure I can probably take the time, right? It doesn't take long. So I come here. Is there a scene? Yeah, a little bit. Ah, there you are again. It's getting late. How are things progressing? I saw the person who shot me. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Well, well. That is a big step forward by the sound of it. Forward, huh? Doesn't feel like it. Here, let me share something with you. What's that? The truth is sometimes hidden in the shadow of what's being looked at and can't be seen properly. Don't forget that. The shadow of what's being looked at, huh? I'll remember that. It doesn't look like the novelist intends to sleep tonight. She'll complete her tale of love, even if she has to type her fingers to the bone. Something seems, yeah, something seems to be missing from this bed. I don't see the bag of ice, and the little girl had, or that little, wait, yeah, wait, hold on, let me read you that. I don't see the bag of ice the little girl had on her feverish forehead. See, Megan, we all do that sometimes. Hmm, she's not here. Did she go to the powder room? Is she out having a good time on the town? I'd better be going myself. I mean, but I feel like I do it more than most people. I mean, you do, but I do it too, though. 
Also, I'm pretty sure powder room is actually a British term. It, I think you're right. I think it might be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game does just take place in the UK. <laughs> Emma, is that you? Oh, poor guy. The f this feeling of waiting for a phone call that might never come. I wonder what sort of feeling he's waiting with. To be fair, I guess this guy's kind of a giveaway that it's Britain, now that I think about it. Your Excellency, are you sure you are all right, sir? Please stay back! How many times do I have to say it? I, I'm i very sorry, Your Excellency. We're all still very worried about you, sir. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled like that. But don't worry about me. Please, just leave me alone. Yes, sir. The tension in this room is palpable. It's as if something is about to happen. Mmm. <laughs> something soon, but not quite yet. What's the park looking like? I feel like everyone in this game is a secret detective. I wonder if the guardian of the park is also a secret detective. The entrance to an eerily deserted, dimly lit park. The van is gone. Detective Ringe must be at the restaurant now. Now that he's back, he might be arresting Lynn as I speak. I'd probably better get over there too. Come to think of it, I don't see that odd man around here anywhere either. Maybe he's off somewhere dreaming about the gods right now. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps. Go to the super's office. See, see, see what that cop's up to. Mm. It's that old pigeon guy again. He's looking at the stuff he has on the wall. All this equipment I've never seen before. Who is this guy anyway? And what's he up to? Doesn't look like he's gonna budge from that spot. Guess I'll go somewhere else. Hmm. That's to the chicken kitchen. No. We're going back to the guard room for now. We're going everywhere except the game the place the game wants me to. So I can tell Megan's just like, uh Arr yeah, that's what Megan's like. Arg! What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? You seem bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? I feel like I've seen this before. Hey, wait a minute. Are you dead? Dead? Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd surprised you, but you surprised me. You're good. Oh, you're good. Nice. Right. Uh, I might be able to do that other thing with the switch now if you wait. Oh, maybe, maybe. Out. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it a moment and we'll see. Yeah. I don't know when it happens. I wish it did. It's one other thing I want you to see. Okay, I don't see him putting a note up. So probably not yeah, right now. Not External line. I guess I could, in theory, go back and see what all the peeps are doing. I mean, you could. I'm gonna do it. I'm just curious. I don't know if I ever did that with the prisoners' rooms whenever you ever played this game. Even time is like a caged animal here. Nothing seems to have changed since I visited last. Spiky is still making that horrible noise. Are oh, you still eating? The bearded painter is still attacking his meal with gusto. The 
curry lover is stuck. My time will soon be locked away from me as well. I can't waste what I have left. I'd better get going. I'm kind of curious, so what happens if I, like, what if he's stuck? Like, what happens if I hit this now? I'd better not set off the emergency alarm right now. The inside of my head is already in the state of emergency as it is. Ah, well played, game. Well played. You knew what I'd try. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Laura of Souls don't need to go there. Special detention. I am curious. I am curious. Seems nothing's changed here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something seems off here. Hmm. I guess he got himself unstuck. Now I'm kind of curious. Is he still stuck when I go back up here? Well played, game. You know what? Well played. I came expecting to see uh, a mistake, and uh, I was very much surprised. I feel like the game knows the kind of player I am quite well. Uh, external line. Okay, let's go. I don't think we need to go. I'm gonna go to the basement anyway, just because you never know. I didn't see the cop there. What if the cop is indeed down here somewhere doing a thing, right? Yes, this is going to extend the game time, Megan, but trust me, it'll probably be very worth it. I don't hear anything. I guess nobody's here. Darkness and quiet are relaxing, but there's no sense in staying here. It's yeah, kind of why I like... It. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? Look at this, Megan! We got a thing here. The mechanical murder machine in this room. <laughs> it must have been set up by that old pigeon guy. But what in the world for? There you go, so you got new dialogue. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go here and just see. May as well, I guess. Mm. Looking trouble, the chief is wiggling his itchy toes. The chief here. It looks like I won't be able to get home tonight. You go ahead and get some sleep without me. Yeah, I love you too, honey. I guess he was radioing his wife. If he had called her on the phone, I could have gone and seen what she looked like. Hmm. Hmm. How do I break his radio? I don't think I can. At least not yet. Alright. Uh, onwards to the uh, chicken uh, kitchen. Do you best efforts to start if I haven't been too active? I've been watching, but I'm cooking at the same time. No, it's fine. Be as active as you can or uh, want to be, right? And if you see me looking at the chat, it is if you feel bad that you're not saying anything, I literally just do that out of habit. Like, legit. I always just, like, do a little glance just to make sure, right? Or I think I see something, so I do a little glance. And it's like, oh, okay. You know? It's kind of why when we play something where there could be potential actual spoilers that could perhaps crop up, like Danganronpa, for example, if I don't just record that, which I might, I'll need to force myself to not actually look and have Megan take care of all business. <laughs> the, the disastrous accident that has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the red-headed detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Now oh, she's eating chicken. Nice. I mean, she was looking forward to that chicken. She was. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. There's something about- now this is gonna seem really random, but there's something about this game that makes me really want to play Monkey Island. 
So I might need... I think because I'm thinking of like point and click adventures and the art style at least kind of remi kind of reminds me a little bit and then the humor uh, kind of reminds me of like the the remake of Monkey Island, right? Or the remaster, I should say. Maybe I'll do Monkey Island soon. Monkey Island's a good one. I like me some Monkey Island. <laughs> Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. You were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Aw, oh, so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device. Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? But you guys are the ones who called me over. <laughs> Odd girl. I agree. Me too. See, Mario says VTubers are a blessing. VTubers are pretty fun to watch. Um... VTubers are indeed really fun to watch. I, you know... Yeah, yeah, I guess I know that, but it's other than that, they are pretty fun. Mario, do you have any favorites? Hmm... Okay, so I need to get close. Nothing I can do over here. Hmm... What if I do this again? See, I can't go inside of her. I mean, what did you do to move with her last time? Oh, she had chicken. Oh, she had a water pitcher. Yes. Did you decide you want some chicken for me after all? We didn't call you. Wait a minute. Is that you, Sissel? There is a good detective. She figured it out. If you're coming over here, don't forget, you have to ring the bell three times. Yeah, it wasn't letting me. Um, what are you talking about? Never mind, it's not important. Yeah, pay no attention to us. We're not even here. I'll make you notice me someday, detective. You'll see. Babaka. I didn't realize the game actually told you what to do there. It's funny. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Okay, now will you let me ring three times? There we go. It's funny, because that's literally what I was trying to do. I was like, oh, well, I need to ring three times, probably, to get her to bring a thing. But it's like, God, oh, no, let me do a thing. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Myra says, I usually watch the five English ones. You know, you're like, you know, you know, you know, pretty good. Um, I like you know. Yeah, you know, you know, really good. I do like her, too. Hey River, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? We didn't call you. Sorry, but could you give us some privacy? She's a great artist and on the purity and intelligence chart. That's official. She's top right. See, I'm trying to debate. I don't think there is such a thing as a pure VTuber anymore. I think they're all pretty impure. Even the ones I thought were actually pure aren't, right? Like Luna, for example. Luna is... Luna used to be pure, but she's not anymore. Uh... What sort of official? I'm good, tired. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're doing good. Top purity and smart. I'd say out of all the five English ones, she probably is one of the smartest. 
Although Calliope definitely definitely is up there too. To be to be fair. <laughs> yeah, Calliope is pretty great. Can I read this already? Uh, yes. Okay. No, stay right there. Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I'd better move now while I have the chance. I love the idea that you have to rescue her again because she ate too much chicken too fast. That'd be really funny. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lynn has or that valiant little doggy, Missile. I thought the ones I save are supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. It's true, he does not have a core. Hmm. Well, I'm, he well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday, I'll plant a big one on you, detective. Seems kind of rude. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Listen, Lynn. You've explained your side and I understand. But there's an APB out on you. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I feel like Megan looked at chat. Yeah. What's five? I just saw oh, Bass Acres. He's like, wait, so maybe this is America. Who else eats like that? That is really funny. <laughs> uh, Gara's top purity, but far left because she's not smart. Yeah, Gara's pretty dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I watch... See, I, see, here's the thing. I don't really watch that much in terms of YouTubers. Not really anymore. Like, I, I need to watch more of the English ones, because I've seen, like, little bits here and there, but I haven't seen enough. Um, and I mostly only watch clips of, like, the Japanese ones. Funnily enough, I used to watch their streams, because one of my friends used to just watch them, and I have, uh, I would just hang out with them, and I'd be like, okay, well, let's watch two, because why not? Like, I'll give it a watch. And then I did. Couldn't understand a single thing they said, but it was, it was fun nonetheless, which was really weird, right? It was weird to watch a Japanese stream, not understand anything, but yet still enjoy myself. Yeah, that was really odd, right? Like, I watched Aqua's entire run of um, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, and you can even hear her say my name at the end of that. Because <laughs> because Joe was like, oh, I should probably read Super Chats at the end. I'm going to see if she'll read my name. So he, he gave her like five bucks, and I was like, fuck it, I'll do it too. Why not? It might be funny, right? And so I did. And it, it was worth it. It was worth it because she couldn't really say my name correctly, but she tried her damnedest, and I appreciate that. She was like... <laughs> you could tell she was struggling because she was looking at it. She was like, Fra Fragin Gagamon Chan. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uh, let's see. I fell asleep watching Enavod of her playing Hollow Knight and she had just a few days ago. New York Times Square giant electric bill for us with her fan art wishing her a happy birthday if you saw. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. No, honestly, honestly, Ina is really good. That's right. She did have her birthday like a couple days ago. That's right. Yeah, no. It, it, she's pretty cool. VTubers are cool. VTubers are cool. Um, I know Willow is a VTuber, and everybody should totally follow Willow if they haven't already. She's great. Uh, cool person. Really cool person. I don't think you've shown me Willow. No, I haven't shown you Willow. Um, but Willow hasn't actually, like, done anything yet. So it's kind of the funny thing. Right now, um, from what she's told me, she's been finishing off, um, what is it, like, her, her school finals or something like that? So she's been, like, really busy. Uh, she wants to debut soon, but she says she's not really too sure when she will. Um, but she's really interesting. I don't know how I found out about her. I just think someone I follow on Twitter, like, liked one of her posts, and I'm like, oh, this is interesting to check out. And she's like, I thought it was cool. She's like a dryad, right? So okay. she's all kind of, like, wooden and leafy. 
It was pretty nice. Like, it looked pretty cool. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll follow. And I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. I I think. And uh, we started talking somehow, and it's like, yeah, she's actually pretty cool. Yeah, she definitely. She also plays Overwatch, sometimes. So that's the part you see making. Remember, I was like, oh, you know, I have a friend that plays Overwatch, so we should see yeah. if we can play with her sometime. That's 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 the person actually. Oh, okay. So yeah, it'd be it'd be cool. I think. Yeah, no, she seems real cool. Seems real nice and chill. She also likes, um, and this is something I appreciate, she likes Pajama Sam and, what was it? The car one. Putt-Putt. And I'm like, damn, you got good taste in video games. <laughs> it's the kind of taste I appreciate. Uh, let's see, let's see. Her fans paid to have that. That's really cool that her fans paid to have that billboard up. Amelia is currently playing Doom. She's low on purity, but far on intelligence. Amelia is an interesting one. The only one I heard before Aqua, which you rated, was Corpse. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember that one. I, I do have a couple of YouTubers I am following on Twitch. I won't be surprised if I rated one of them at this point. I will probably raid, like, Willow when she starts. Because, like I say, she's a cool person. I think Willow's really nice. If she ever debuts. It's like, damn. It's like, come on, Willow. Come on. Like, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, call her out here. Right? I'm gonna call her out real quick. Because even on her Twitter, Megan, on her Twitter, she said debuting June 1st. And she even messaged me. It was after <laughs> she was like, I had to take that down. Because I'm not too sure anymore. Oh. She was like, oh, I, 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 I don't know. What, what June 1st? You know, I'm just like, yeah, all right, sure. Well done. You know? Smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Uh, okay. But yeah, Megan, when she starts, we'll have to watch her a little bit. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. And plus, as I've mentioned, one of these days for an April Fool's Day joke. Perhaps I will don a VTuber outfit, quote unquote. <laughs> Megan, I can be a cute anime girl, right? It's a little weird. All right, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for April Fool's Day. Can't you, can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. No, I can't, or no can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now how can that be a coincidence? Yeah, I Megan, mean, yeah, you never really said anything during that VTuber talk, actually. Because I know you do watch some VTubers, because I've shown you VTubers. You and I have been watching the occasional VTuber clip. Yeah, like, admittedly, I haven't watched a lot recently, but there was a period where we were watching a lot of Krone clips. And, like, we have watched mm -hmm. a, a couple Eno streams and a little bit of Calliope. And then we were also watching uh, some Ollie for a little bit, too. Ollie's, like, the best, dude. Ollie's, like, so good. Definitely yeah, one of my I favorites. I haven't watched any recently, so... And then, uh... What else was I gonna say to you? I was gonna say, um, yeah, dude, hashtag Calliope 3, man. Boycott Atlas. I'm calling it right now. Even though I'm gonna be uh, playing Persona on uh, recording sometime soon. Bad, uh, boycott Atlas until they let her play uh, P3. Don't actually boycott Atlas. Atlas is pretty cool from what I understand. That was pretty cool. Did I read this? Uh, no. The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now, how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. But yeah, I may have gotten Megan watching VTubers. It's pretty great. <laughs> that you have. But you know, when, when, you, when you date someone, you know, you, you show your interests, right? You share interests, you know? It's like, here, Megan, check out VTubers. I don't know, Matt. I don't know if it's the kind of thing I'd enjoy. Look what happened, Megan. Look what happened. <laughs> Ellipses. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into Detective Jowd's case on your own? 
Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Trick time! Uh, a sign holder. Let's go to her head. Tell me all about this chicken's... So how is the chicken you've been waiting so long for? <laughs> it's great. But, you know, with Detective Fringe, that's his name, by the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? That kind of is taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a pass, just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possess his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah. He was, wasn't he? Just like you. You were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But I've got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. And here comes the selection. Let's get started then. Three? Yep, three. Ah, uh, death row inmate Jowd. Or Jowd. I'm still gonna say Jowd. What is your connection to Prisoner D99? Detective Jowd. He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yes, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Megan, you're allowed to say Jowd. Don't, don't worry. I like saying Jowd. You can say Jowd. And then she says nothing. Hero, <laughs> huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. Oh, uh, dude, backstory. Uh, I don't know if this is a guy or not, so I'm gonna assume it is. Now, just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you come any closer... It might be, uh... I'll shoot her. Okay, maybe that is me. It's okay, you can be this person too if you want. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then, suddenly, someone grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared. I thought I was gonna die. And then... Hmm, interesting. He appeared. Detective Jode. Wow, that's a powerful gun. Made the whole screen go white. <laughs> and then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... She still had her hair like that? Yep. You're all right Is now. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, it's the anime thing, where they never change their hair no matter how old they are. True, true. Looks like she has a very similar coat on, too. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right now. Are you hurt? You, you save me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Mmm. Intriguing. Okay, tell me about Point X. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. 
A deal that could affect the future of our nation. Oh, jeez. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. I don't know. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. I don't know. I feel like I found out very recently that the people of nations can indeed be heavily influenced. Very easily. Uh, depending on how... Not even charismatic a speaker is. But I don't know. I've, I've learned a lot about people these past few years. Megan says nothing. All right, cool. <laughs> you do well, Megan. You do well. I'm, I just, I just always wait because I assume you're gonna say something. I don't know. I, I guess I didn't really have much to say. Understandable. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in the steel to show up now. Mmm. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for? kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of this deal, except for one person. Why are my eyes so dry? Like, every time I've been playing this for, like, the past two sessions, my eyes have been, like, dry, and it's like, why? Oh! Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. Mm. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella, huh? Eh? Apparently you're a real fa yeah. Apparently you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Ah, Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jowd were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always friendly in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jowd was always very particular about thorough investigation of the crime scene. And Inspector Cabanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two lead the detective division in those days. Hmm. But Inspector Cabanella is different now. He's changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Joad incident, he now distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. And so that's how he became head of the Special Investigation Unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend had saved, huh? He really looked out for me, helping me study for my detective's exam. Budging my exam scores for me. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabanella, eh? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. Not gonna lie, though, every time I see the name Cabanella, I think of, um... What's the pasta... What's the pasta called? Cabanella? Um, Not Cabanella. It's, um... What, what's the name of that, like, style of pasta or whatever? I mean, the only one I can think of that starts with a C is cannoli. Well, it's not like the pasta itself, I guess. It's like the, the food. Well, I don't know that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I was baking. What were you baking? I don't remember if I asked you. Uh, hold on, hold on. Carbonara, that's it. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. It sure is taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. 
It doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more our girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camilla stays safe, no matter what. Hmm. Camilla. And that music box, too. The music box. Music box! Oh yeah, that wooden box. I remember this. Feels like days ago. <laughs> she went away. That box was a present from Detective Joan. I feel like you're jumping between Joan and Joan now. It's great. Love it. I'm not doing it intentionally. <laughs> from Detective Joan? Yes, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. Hmm. He must have sent it just before he got arrested. Or he was hmm. arrested. Someday, when the case is settled and over, and everything is settled... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm. That's a shame. Sissel, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from? Out of the blue? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be harder. Might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. Man, the plot keeps getting thicker and thicker. <laughs> also, Bass Ackward says he's making banana bread. That sounds oh, really nice. good. That was great. <laughs> dude, banana bread is so good. I need to make some banana bread. Might get dinner out because I'm kind of tuckered out. Understandable, dude. Nothing nothing like getting some takeout or going out to a nice restaurant if you're just like feeling worn out, especially after cooking a lot, right? Like, it's so good. Like, I'm not going to lie. The best thing for me is when there's food done after a stream. Either food done or food like takeout happening. It's like, I don't need to cook. I can just go up, get food, I can just eat. Unfortunately, it's not going to be like that today, but you, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> but that, that's so good. You know, like, it's so good. It's like, it, you know, just, I just want food. I want to put work into it. I just want something quick and easy, you know? Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. I mean, I'm feeling pretty impressed. Just tell me one thing. Oh, wait, I look at her. She got a... I know, right? of... She looks like she does have a little bit of a stomach on her now, but that might just be how she's sitting. Probably. This case you say you're looking into, is it Detective Jowds? What if it was? I... I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... It's tonight. Detective Jowd's... You know... It's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it, and I found all the executions in this country. I carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. Isn't there anything we can do to stop it? <laughs> of course not. It's too late now. Not without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. Hmm, I feel like I have that man's office. Maybe. I might not. I'm gonna go know. see him then. What? See who? Who else? The Justice Minister. Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Sissel. Me? Get to the prison. Stop that execution. Is he enough for you to say? Detective Ringe, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'm not going to say anything about how you're talking to someone named Sissel for no reason in this restaurant, even though it's just yep. the two of us. But I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. 
Is there anything else I can do? Could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you're little Camilla? Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Joe. Odd girl. The life of yet another person I'm connected to is somehow about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. Time to save. I will indeed save. I think that probably should be it for tonight, though. What do you think, Megan? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah, it seems a good place to stop it for now. And we will continue this again soon. For sure, soon. But all this food, uh, all this talk of food and chickens made me kind of hungry now. So I'll probably go grab some food after this. Uh, but yeah, no, this game's really, really good. Like, I have been enjoying this quite a lot, if I'm being honest. Well, that's good. Like, I might need to make, like, a list of DS games or something. You know? I Like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I need to do something. Because I feel like I've missed out on a lot of good DS games. You know? Yeah, I'll have to look and see if there's anything else I can suggest for you, too. Yeah, and of course, anybody else can suggest them, too. I think that'd be really, really nice. Don't know when I'd be able to get to them all. I already have a, a pretty long list of games to stream and record. Um, you know, it's not even mentioning the stuff I have recorded already that I need to uh, actually edit and put together. I just need time for that. But yeah, no, um, I think it'd be really fun. You know, this is really, really nice. Okay, I was, I was hoping Megan would say something else there, too, but okay, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it has been nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Megan, it's okay. I know it's fine. It's okay. But, yeah, I'm thinking that should probably be it for tonight. Um, it's been very, very good, though. Very, very good. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've enjoyed this. I have been enjoying this quite a bit. It's been a good game, been a fun stream. And, of course, getting to hang out with all my friends in chat is always lovely as well. Uh, alright though I guess that should be it so uh, any any last words Megan any last things you want to say before we call it quits for tonight mm, no I think we pretty much summed it up alright perfect okay well let's see let's see best actor says indeed actually this probably would take two streams if you can rewind four streams before it's death <laughs> that's a good one I like that <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Megan saying this would probably take two streams is the one of the funniest things I've heard in a while. I kid, Megan, you're great. You're great. Mm. But I am honestly surprised you thought this would take two streams. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Megan, don't say it like that. Now I feel kind of bad. Okay. Anyway, with Megan making me sad and depressed, I guess... No. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I do wonder how many streams this will take. I don't think it'll take as long as, say, something like Subnautica. But I do think it'll take at least a few more. Because actually, what chapter are we on? I'm just kind of curious. I just want to have a look-see. Yeah, I actually didn't see that before you closed it. Uh, we are on chapter 8. Okay. Okay. So we're making progress. So we have, like, what, nine chapters left? You know what? Yeah, probably just, like, a... Probably, like, a... a few more streams maybe i'm sure there have to be some some shorter chapters in here you know i think so and just based on how games go right like they usually do longer chapters kind of around the beginning and middle and then kind of they they get a bit shorter as you know you draw towards the conclusion right yeah so we shall see we shall see either way yeah yeah all right so we'll be getting back to this game relatively soon but for now oh wait Mario says, oh, by the way, Frank, have you beat Hades? I have not beat Hades yet. <laughs> I would love to do Hades more. But I like doing Hades with Megan because, I don't know, it's just kind of more fun that way. Uh, I like playing Hades with Megan. And Megan, unfortunately, doesn't really have that much time. No. So I haven't been uh, able to really play Hades. Megan doesn't mind if I play Hades without her. Yeah. So don't go thinking she's like keeping the Hades like Hades away from me, like locking it up and throwing away the key or anything. 
It's just I enjoy playing Hades with her around, so it just feels weird. I probably, I still probably will do a Hades stream without Megan at some point. Sorry, Megan. Um, yeah, that's all right. But we shall see. We shall see. But first, Megan, has your deemed to hydrate? Should we shall, we shall take a quick sippy? Yeah. Ah, delicious water. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, okay, that one went down a little bit. All right, friends. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching the stream. I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly did. And, yeah, we will catch you guys later. All right, Megan, do you have, any, do you have any, anything you want to say before I say my final lines? Thanks for hanging on the stream, and have a good night, everyone. All right, perfect. And now with that, it is time we cue the outro. All right, Frego, catch you guys later.